Good evening. Welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Gitasha Sharma. Here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Friday, the 1st of December. Indian Foreign Minister attends SCO summit in Russia's Sochi city. Pakistani Taliban claims responsibility for deadly Peshawar attack. And now for all the details. Indian Foreign Minister Shushma Swaraj on Friday attended the summit of Shanghai Cooperation Organization or SCO in Russia's Sochi city. She assured India's support to SCO nations in counter-terrorism efforts. India's Foreign Minister Sushma Swaraj on Friday attended the Shanghai Cooperation Organization or SCO summit in the Russian city of Sochi. In June, India along with Pakistan had become a full-fledged member of the SCO, a China-dominated security grouping. The two-day SCO summit this year focused on the regional security scenario beside several other issues. While addressing the meeting of the Council of the Heads of SCO member states, Swaraj reaffirmed India's cooperation in fighting the global menace of terrorism. India strongly condemns terrorism in all its forms and manifestations. There can be no justification whatsoever for any acts of terrorism. We are determined to consistently strengthen cooperation within the SCO framework and to work together to seek comprehensive cooperative and sustainable security. Swaraj had on Thursday attended an official reception hosted by Russian Prime Minister for the SCO member nations in Sochi. India had been an observer at the SCO since 2005. It has generally participated in the ministerial level meetings of the grouping, which focuses mainly on security and economic cooperation in the Eurasian region. The SCO had set the ball rolling to make India a member of the bloc during its summit in Ufa city of Russia in July 2015. At least nine persons have been killed in India's Tamil Nadu and Kerala provinces as a cyclonic storm hovered over the country's southern tip. The cyclonic storm will intensify over the next 24 hours, weather scientists said on Friday. Torrential rains pounded India's southern provinces of Tamil Nadu and neighbouring Kerala and claimed at least nine lives as a deep depression in the Bay of Bengal intensified into cyclonic storm Oki. Anxious kin of the missing fishermen in India's Kerala province on Friday gathered at seashores demanding the government to bring the missing back. Search and rescue operations to deal the fury are being carried out by Indian naval forces at the southern coasts. An advisory has been issued to remain away from seashores as more such heavy falls are expected in some districts. As far as the forecast is concerned, during next 24 hours, uh, many places the moderate rainfall is expected to occur over Tamil Nadu and Pondicherry. As far as the heavy rainfall is concerned, uh, Thaini, Dindakal, Coimbatore and Nilgiri districts, one or two places heavy to very heavy rainfall is expected. India is one of the most disaster-prone nations in the world and many of its over 1.3 billion people live in areas vulnerable to hazards such as floods, cyclones and droughts. Its cyclone season generally lasts from April to December with severe storms often causing dozens of deaths, evacuations of tens of thousands of people and property damage. In news from Pakistan, more than 10 persons were killed and several wounded as three terrorists stormed an agriculture college in Pakistan's Peshawar city on Friday. The attackers were shot dead after a clearance operation was carried out by the security forces. Militant group tehri -e taliban Pakistan claimed responsibility for the attack. More than 10 people were killed and over 30 injured after gunmen opened fire in an agriculture college in Pakistan's Peshawar city on Friday. Militant group Tehreek-e Taliban Pakistan claimed responsibility for the attack. All the injured were transported to Khyber Teaching Hospital in Peshawar where several of them are said to be in critical condition. The three attackers were shot dead after a gunfight ensued between them and the security forces who reached the site. The gunmen were reportedly wearing full face veils and came in a rickshaw. This is not the first time schools and colleges have been attacked in Peshawar. In 2014, 
Armed forces attacked a school for military officers as children, killing at least 150. The attack was claimed by the same militant group. In news from Afghanistan, General John Nicholson, commander of the U.S. forces in Afghanistan, has expressed confidence in the capabilities of the Afghan special forces. He said Taliban and other insurgent groups cannot win as soon the number of special units of the Afghan forces will be doubled. Commander of the U.S. forces in Afghanistan, General John Nicholson, has praised the efforts of Afghan special force units in dismantling insurgent attacks in the country. Nicholson expressed confidence that the Taliban and other insurgent groups cannot win on the battlefield in face of the growing capabilities of the Afghan security forces. He had earlier said that soon the U.S. and Afghan forces together will be putting more pressure on the Taliban and their choices will be to either reconcile or die. Special forces. نیروهای ویژه به شمول قطعه 333 222 و 444 در میدانهای نبرد بسیار موفق بودند. از همین رو میخواهیم شما را این نیروها را دو برابر بسازیم. از محو کشت مواد مخدر شروع تا از بین بردن تروریستان و آلمان در برابر تروریسم جهانی قرار داریم موفق بودیم علت اساسی شمی بوده که بالای ظرفی اساسی قطعه سیسی بیشتر کار شده While unveiling his new strategy for Afghanistan and South Asia in August, U.S. President Donald Trump had promised a stepped-up military campaign against Taliban insurgents. It also included increasing troop members to further expand training and assistance to the Afghan forces. Moving on to news from Bangladesh, Pop Francis on Friday celebrated a huge outdoor mass to ordain new priests from Bangladesh on his first full day in the country. Hundreds of people attended the mass which was held in capital Dhaka city. The pontiff is on a three-day visit to Bangladesh. Pope Francis on Friday celebrated a huge outdoor mass to ordain new priests from Bangladesh on his first full day in the country. More than 100,000 people attended the mass in capital Dhaka city where Francis arrived in an open Pope mobile vehicle. It was a rare chance for minority Catholics in the majority Muslim country to see and attend the mass by Pope Francis, leader of 1.2 billion Roman Catholics. The pontiff landed in Bangladesh on Thursday after a three-day trip to neighboring Myanmar. During his visit, he is also expected to meet Rohingya refugees. Bangladesh is hoping the Pope's visit will help pressure the international community to find a solution to the problem of the periodic influx of Rohingya who have fled to the country, escaping violence in Myanmar. India's first Madame Tussauds Wax Museum opened its doors for public on Friday in capital New Delhi. The museum has 50 statues of celebrities from across the globe and is the 23rd edition to the Madame Tussauds series. India's first Madame Tussauds Wax Museum opened its doors on Friday with 50 lifelike figures spanning across history, sports, films and politics for the public at India's capital, New Delhi. The 23rd and the latest addition to the series of Madame Tussauds attraction is housed in the historic regal building of the capital and is divided into seven sections from India and across the world. One of the seven sections is devoted to Indian leaders including Mahatma Gandhi, Abdul Kalam and Prime Minister Narendra Modi while the other is a Hollywood section featuring King of Pop Michael Jackson along with Lady Gaga, Beyonce and Anne Hathaway. Here uh, we'll have five sections which includes music, sports, film and area, history and leaders and party zone, uh, Bollywood and Hollywood party and uh, the 60% of Indian figures and 40% of global figures are there for you. Uh, along with interactives and few games. The museum is not solely visual. There are various interactive stations where people can find out more about the wax model and also play some games. Madame Tussauds was founded in the year 1835 by Mary Tussauds in London. From early works of Mary, Madame Tussauds created an international phenomenon that still remains a famous attraction for millions. 
Around 35 female wrestlers participated in a wrestling competition held on the banks of River Ganges in India's northern Varanasi city recently. This was for the first time in 450 years that women were allowed to take part in the competition. A wrestling competition pulled huge crowds as women wrestlers took part for the first time in an annual wrestling competition held in India's northern Varanasi city recently. Around 35 female wrestlers wrestled on the banks of River Ganges in Varanasi city in the maiden state level championship. They competed against each other in 105 and 165 pounds weight categories. A huge number of locals gathered to witness the competition. पहले बहुत ही दिक्कत थी लड़कियों को प्रैक्टिस नहीं कर पाती थे और अब तो बहुत ही सुविधा हो गई है अब लड़कियां तो प्रैक्टिस कर लेती हैं और हम लोग को बहुत ही सुविधा हो गई है मैट है अखाड़ा है पहले तो लोग अखाड़े पे भी नहीं जाने देते थे लेकिन अब तो अखाड़े पे भी जाने देते हैं और हम लोग की अच्छी तैयारियां हो रही हैं प्रैक्टिस और हम लोग चाहते भी हैं कि हम लोग खूब अच्छे से अच्छे मेहनत करें प्रैक्टिस करें और कुछ आगे बढ़े कुछ बने अपने सर का अपने घर परिवार का नाम रोशन करें Women's wrestling has gained popularity in India over the last few years with female Indian wrestlers winning laurels in international tournaments. Wrestler Geeta Phogat became the first Indian female wrestler to clinch gold at the 2010 Commonwealth Games. Sakshi Malik won bronze at the 2016 Rio Olympics in the women's freestyle 127 pound category. Indian Foreign Minister attends SCO Summit in Russia's Sochi city. Pakistani Taliban claims responsibility for deadly Peshawar attack. Now our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash SAsianewsline and follow us on Twitter at SAsianewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time next week. Have a great weekend. Good night.